Good morning and welcome to Yoga with Natalie. This morning we are going to be going through a 30 minute yoga flow routine. Um, so we're going to start on our mat in child's pose. So with child's pose our knees are far around mat distance apart. Now this yoga flow we are we are not going to spend too much time warming up the spine. So it is very important that you uh, practice this yoga routine in a warm room or indeed if it's summer then you should be fine but in the depths of winter I would recommend a longer routine so knees are mat distance apart the toes are touching and you walk your hands out in front and we start in child's pose just to bring our awareness to the mat. Forehead on the mat. We're just taking the time to arrive mentally on the mat this morning. We got here physically. And now it's time to arrive mentally. Sometimes there's a split decision whether or not we roll out our mat and do our yoga practice. Today, you got here. Exhaling everything out of your lungs and inhale, nice deep inhale, expanding the lungs outwards. And exhale, letting the lungs come back into heart center. Inhale, lungs go out. Exhale, lungs go in. With your next inhale, I want you to bring your hips off your heels, knees in together, closer together, hip distance apart actually, and can meet me in tabletop. So tabletop position, our knees are underneath our hips, our wrists are under our shoulders. And cat cow, cow for cow, we drop the stomach and lift the chin and let a dip come in our lower back. That's it, cat is the opposite. Chin to chest, round the spine, press up between the shoulder blades. Cow, drop the stomach, lift the chin. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Lovely, cow. And cat. Cow. And cat. Back to tabletop and lift the right arm up. Thread it through the left side, right ear on the mat. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand on the mat. And then inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through, left side. That's it. And left arm up. Left hand on the mat. Cat cow, cow, stomach drops, chin lifts, deep inhale. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Back to tabletop. Now walk the hands forward, bring the forehead to the mat and breathe. Puppy dog pose. The hips are over the knees, the arms are stretched out and the forehead is on the mat or on the block or on a cushion depending on what feels good for you today.
Now, as we flow, we remember, don't push into pain. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Inhale, back to tabletop. Notice where your hands are now underneath your shoulders and take one hand length step forward. So the length of your hand and step your hands forward. One step, that's it. Turn your toes over, lift your knees up and meet me in down dog. Enjoying this first down dog of the day. Maybe pedaling out your knees, but just be sure to go nice and slowly so you find that be beautiful stretch down your calves every time you bring your heel down towards the mat. That's it. Really enjoy it and the luxurious stretch that you might find. And with your next exhale, walking your feet forward. Keeping your feet at hip distance apart, grab opposite elbows, come into ragdoll pose. So ragdoll pose, our torsos are against our thighs. We are grabbing opposite elbows and letting the head hang heavy. Like a piece of ripe fruit, just let it hang. That's it. Well done. You can bob side to side a little bit if it feels good to do so. Just make sure that your torso is flush against your legs. Exhale everything out of your lungs. And with the next inhale, slowly uncurl, coming all the way up. Nice big inhale now coming up. That's it. And meet me in mountain pose. Hold on. Breathe, ensuring that our, our uh, uh, chin and neck is parallel to the floor. So keeping the chin up, nice. Holding here for a moment and face the palms outwards. Exhale everything out of the lungs. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch, look at the thumbs. Exhale, right arm back and left arm forward, look at the right thumb, keep the hips facing forward, that's it. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Look at the left palm. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, mini back bend, cactus arms like this. That's it. Press your chest up towards the ceiling. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, hands on the mat and step and walk the feet all the way back until you're in high plank. Look at your yogi fingers. Make sure they spread nice and wide, hips down, and bending elbows, lowering all the way down to the mat. Slip the feet over and lift the chest up. That's it. Now, look back down at the mat and press your body up off the mat. Meet me in down dog. Breathe. Well done. Lovely, lovely adjustment, absolutely. If you want to put some cat cows in there in between, you can indeed. You know if you're practicing yoga for a while, what feels good. What serves you today? Yoga is here for you. You aren't here for yoga, remember that. Yoga is here for you. The next exhale, walking the feet forward until they are behind the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Exhale, uh, forward fold. Inhale, arms up over the head, palms to touch, straight back into it, left arm back, right arm forward. Look at the left thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Look at the right thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head. Um, cactus arms, press your chest up to the ceiling. Inhale, arms up over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Let the head hang 
Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from your ears, tummy sucked in. Exhale, hands on the mat, left foot back, right foot back, high plank, that's it. Now you can go plank on your knees or high plank, it's up to you. Lowering all the way down to the mat, put the feet over, mini cobra, peel the chest off the mat. Look back down at the mat and meet me in down dog. Beautiful. Just having a lovely stretch of the calves, stretch. The glutes. Well done. Breathe. Go easy on yourself. If you know that you have injuries or pain, if down dog isn't suiting you, go ahead into child's pose and just relax. We're here for three more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale. Lift the right leg high into three leg dog. We're going to be moving into warrior with the right foot forward, okay? So exhale, lift the, the leg in towards the chest and then bring it until it's in between the hands. You'll be up on the left foot, you'll be on the ball of your foot and look back at that left foot and rotate around on that ball of the foot until the left foot is parallel with the short side of the mat. Your right foot should still be parallel with the long side of the mat and windmill your arms up meeting me in warrior two beautiful from warrior two we're looking at the right finger and nails finger was fingernails that's it right knee over the ankle breathe lovely left hand on the back and the back leg turn the right palm of the hand up and come into reverse warrior, enjoying that luxurious stretch. Then the side of the body here, the right side of the body. And back to warrior two. Side stretch. Left arm up over the head. Right arm resting there on the right thigh. Breathe. And back to warrior two. Turn the right toes in so that they're facing the same way as the left toes. Inhale, arms up over your head, wide leg stretch. Exhale, bring your head all the way down, hands on the mat in between your feet. You can heel toe, heel toe your feet out a bit wider if you wish. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, let the head hang. That's it. If your arms are bent, then you can Point, bring your elbows, uh, point your elbows to the back of the room. If you wish, you can try and get your fingers at the same line, straight line as your toes. Letting your head hang. Breathe. And if it's possible, trying to just take a moment of relaxation here in this pose. Breathe. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come all the way up. And rotate the left foot. Left knee over left ankle. And warrior two on the left side. That's it. Well done. Beautiful. Breathe in, warrior two. Make sure the bum isn't sticking out. So press your hips forward. And then rotate the left palm of the hand up. Bring the left arm up, right arm down the back of the right leg. Press your chest up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Feel that lovely stretch down the left side. Back to warrior two. And side angle, left arm on the left side. Bring the right arm over the body and the arch. Well done.
And inhale back to warrior two. And turn the left toes in so that all the toes are facing the same way. So I'm going to move, you don't. Okay. So all our toes are facing the same way. This time, inhale, arms up over the head. And if you wish, you could bring your arms back and you can interlace your fingers to behind your back. That's it. Okay. Head down, arms up. That's what we have to remember. Inhale. And exhale. Chest down. So really lead with your chest. Your head comes afterwards and let your arms come up behind. Breathe. Chin to chest. Well done. Hanging out here for a few more moments. Inhale, come all the way back up again with a big inhale. Heel toe, heel toe, the toes together. Meet me for a tree pose. Really plant that left leg down into the roots of the mat. Bring your right knee up. And bring your right sole of your foot against your left inner thigh or your right calf, whichever serves you better today, whichever feels good. Breathe. Left hand into prayer and right hand into prayer. Well done. If you wish, you can grow the tree upwards today. If you don't wish to, Stay exactly where you are. Every day we are different. Every body is different and every day sometimes feels like we have a different body. Coming out of the pose, right knee back to center, right foot back, right foot glued into the mat this time left knee up bring the left sole of the foot against the right inner thigh or against the right calf breathe left hand into prayer and right hand into prayer breathe press the hips forward Grow the tree upwards if it feels good to do so. Or stay exactly where you are. Remember, hands in prayer or hands on a chair. That's it. Relax everything down. Coming out the way you came in. Breathe. Up at the top of the mat again. Mountain pose. Straight line, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle. Palms facing out. Inhale, arms up over the head. Palms to touch. Look at the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Let the head hang. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Left foot back, right foot back. High plank. High plank or plank on the knees. Lowering all the way down or halfway down for chaturanga. Up dog. Press the ankles in towards each other. Roll them in towards each other. That's it. Looking up for up dog or mini cobra. And then coming into down dog. Our last down dog of the class. Enjoy it. Breathe. Lowering the knees down to the mat. And then the hip bones. So bum on the mat. Bring your legs out in front. That's it. Bring the left knee up and place the left foot over the right foot, left arm up, and bring the hand to behind the behind your hips. So like a kickstand, right arm up, and start turning and twisting with your torso. And wrap your right arm around your left leg, or indeed if you have the slice. Go for it, or if you have the bind, you can go for that either. Chin working its way around to the left shoulder. Inhale and exhale. 
be mindful of this twist now because I really want to be have a nice warm spine. Here it is late September in Hungary and we are still reaching the late 20s, so 27 degrees. It will be later today. I'm still quite warm. Right arm up, right hand back to the mat, left leg back to the mat, breathe. Then right knee up, place it over the left leg, right arm up, bring it to the kickstand behind your back. Left arm up, just to stretch that body. You know, just to really get the space in between those ribs. And then wrap your arm around the left, right leg, left arm around the right leg. Shine the heart torch towards the um, opposite wall. Bring the chin towards the right shoulder, or indeed you can slice if you wish. Breathe. Well done. Slowly coming out the way you came in and coming into coming into um sorry <laughs> wind removing pose i'm doing it. i'm so i'm thinking about shavasana i'm not there yet we're in wind removing pose so wind removing pose we bring our legs into our chest wrapping our arms around our legs and really hugging those legs in to our chest into the torso Come into happy baby pose. When you're ready. Now, happy baby pose, a lovely pose. Try not to skip it. You can really loosen up the hips. That's it. Well done. Legs back to center and right hand on top of left knee, supine twist. Bring the legs, draw the legs over to the right and let the left arm go long. Bring the chin towards the shoulder, breathe. Legs back to center, other side, left hand on top of right knee and draw the legs over to the left, right arm out long and breathe. When you're ready, bring the legs long. Grab anything you need for a Shavasana. Relaxation, breathe. It's really important that we learn to relax our muscles after moving. We learn to give ourselves some time to switch off. Physically,
slowly bringing awareness back to your body. Wiggle in your fingers and your toes. Slide your feet up along the mat towards your bum and bring your legs into your torso again. Gently draw your legs over to the right and this time let your whole body go with us into a child's, into a fetal position. Place your left hand into the mat or floor and come up slowly with an inhale into an easy seated position. Whatever that means to you. If your legs are right long, or cross-legged, hands on top of the knees with the palms facing up, shoulders over hips, or if you wish, hands in prayer at heart center, the light and love in me honors the light and love in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today for our 30 minute, 32 minute yoga class. If you enjoyed your class today, you are very welcome to, if, if you're watching the recording, you're very welcome to buy me a coffee, which should be in the description below. Okay, see you next week and I'll be in touch by email if you want to be um, on the email list or um, yet yeah, to know when the next class is, just send me a DM. Okay, bye. bye, -bye.